Well, depending on where you are in the country, the government might have temporarily closed your local gym because of COVID, but that doesn't mean you have to give up your workout. Lifestyle expert Pei Chen says there are so many resources to help you stay in shape without even leaving your home. And Pei, the first one you're going to show us is the Nike Fitness app. Yeah, I love this one, Tracy. It's the one that I've probably been using for the, the longest on my phone. So the Nike Training Club app, uh, first of all, it's free. So that makes it very attractive for people mm -hmm. who want to, you know, try out home workouts. You can also filter based on the uh, muscle group you want to work on. So maybe you want to focus on upper body, lower body. Maybe you just want to do some yoga and, you know, chill a little bit more. You can also filter based on the equipment you have available. So a lot of them are just body weight, which means you don't have to have any equipment. Maybe you only have a set of dumbbells. If you have access to a lot of equipment, you can also filter that way. So I do like the variety that they have. They have over 185 different workout plans of varying lengths and of, um, different uh, fitness levels as well so you can start and work your way up uh, next up you have and I love that it's free next up you have the Peloton digital app so you don't need the bike for this app correct that's correct so I don't have a bike and I know that during um, you know the early days of COVID a lot of my friends were getting the Peloton bike and working out at home. But then I found out that the app actually has a lot of workouts that don't require their equipment. So there are workouts that are uh, strength-based. There's also yoga. Um, there are obviously the indoor running and cycling uh, workouts as well. Another feature I really like about them is that they have a lot of stretching workouts that are only five minutes. And for someone like me who's pretty lazy about stretching, you know, before <laughs> or after, five minutes is enough. I can handle that. They also have 10-minute workouts. And I did a 10 minute strength one the other day, Tracy, and I did start to break a sweat. Like yeah. it can be quite intense. So it's perfect for those of us who are maybe, you know, procrastinators or we don't want to dedicate a lot of time or maybe we don't have a lot of time to work out. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. There's a lot of options there. And they actually do have a free 30 day trial. So at least you have the option of going and trying out some of the workouts to see if it's something that you want to purchase a subscription to. And the subscription is $16.99 a month. Okay, cool. And I mean, if you, if you go to work out and you think, oh, I'm going to be working out for two hours, forget it. I just want to go take a nap. If you know you can like burn through a workout in 10 minutes, I say amazing. I actually just posted this today on my Instagram. Like it's just about consistency. You can do 10 minutes. You can do 18 minutes. You can do an hour, do whatever you want to do, but just do it. Just make sure you move. Right. So with all this sitting, uh, we've and it's been so easy doing, to have an excuse. it's so easy to have an excuse. There's a million things you can do for me. I start sweeping the floor in the basement because like I'm looking around and it's dirty and I'm supposed to be working out. So a lot of us have been sitting too much, um, which means that yoga is a great workout that is kind of crucial right now. So what have you got for yoga? Why Yoga is actually a uh, BC-based fitness studio that launched a really wonderful yoga at home program. So it's an online subscription. They do also offer a seven day free trial. Now I'm someone who is very restless. So yoga is something that I sometimes have to force myself to do, but I always feel great afterwards. And as you mentioned, we've been spending a lot of time, maybe like sitting on our couch, you know, typing on our computers in bed, yeah. in a chair that's not necessarily ergonomic. It's really good for us to be getting, to get moving. So I do love the Y Yoga uh, subscription. They have a huge library of all the different types of yoga practices. So they've got like a power yoga, they've got Hatha meditation. What I also like is that um, it, they have these, they have cues to help you progress. So even if you're a beginner and you don't really know your form, they have different videos that explain some of the poses and then you can work your way up. They also have live classes you can sign up for. And of course, their huge library of on-demand classes. Amazing. And what about smaller gyms pay? I'm a big fan of the, the boutique gyms that have become very popular over the years. And a lot of them have switched to online platforms. And now it gives you an opportunity to try out a class at a gym that may not be physically close to you. So Fuel Training Club is actually the gym I've been a member of for many years. And they have a really great um, selection of online workouts that are kettlebell based or body weight based. And I like that because I think a lot of people may have acquired a kettlebell over the years, perhaps haven't done a whole lot with it. Uh, and it lets you, the live classes I really enjoy because it lets the trainer even give you a little bit of feedback. They can chirp you a little bit. Um, and they do offer a two week free trial for, uh, they offer a two-week free trial for their on-demand classes and two weeks for $20 
for their live classes. So it's a good way to try out a workout from a gym that you may have heard about in another city. Very reasonable. Now your next one is a good friend of the City Line family, Fitness by Sarah Ta Taylor. Tell us about these classes. So Sarah Taylor, she has her own virtual fitness studio and she's designed it specifically for plus size women. So all the classes have modifications and suggestions so that the exercises are accessible to people of all body shapes. Uh, she's got different programs. She also offers a three day free trial as well. So it's great for women who want to try it out uh, and see what her programs are like. And what she says is that she wants women to build confidence and it's exercise fitness with a dose of self love. Oh, I love that. That's really important. So we've talked about the workouts. Now talk, let's talk a little bit about keeping track of your goals, Pay. Well, Tracy, I know that you also have, uh, you track your fitness on your watch as well. So Apple Watch Series 6 is new, and that's launched with some new improvements and additions. They have new fitness workouts that you can select. So mm -hmm. I use this when I'm outside, if I'm biking, if I'm walking, I just like the idea of how quickly I might be moving, the distance, the calories burned. Uh, something that is new for this watch is the blood oxygen feature, which gives insights into your overall health and wellness, which is something of interest to a lot of people who really want to see their metrics. And then what they're launching before the end of this year is Apple Fitness Plus, which is a really great uh, fitness system that launches on Apple Watch, and you can see your metrics on all of your other Apple devices. And it's a really great way to personalize and customize your workout. So I think that's going to be highly anticipated. Now, another uh, tracking option is the Fitbit Inspire 2. So this is really great for someone who may not need all the extra things um, on their wrist. So it's easy to use. It has 20 plus goal-based exercise modes. The battery lasts 10 days. Um, it lets you do things like it's uh, swim proof. It can help you track your sleep as well. So it gives you a lot of options uh, to get you towards the fitness goals that you might have. I love it. And I'm an addict, uh, an Apple Watch addict. I got to close the rings, girl. I'm going to piggyback <laughs> on your information online <laughs> at cityline.tv. I'm going to include my trainer's online workout, virtual workout. I get people asking about it all the time. I'm like, how can I quickly get the info out? I'm going to put it on the website with your list of virtual workouts. So go to cityline.tv for that. Thank you, Pay.